Hello and welcome to Abundant Life Christian Center Church Service Online. We are so happy to have you. Please share this link with your friends and your family so they can all take in on this experience of faith, favor, and of fellowship. Enjoy the service. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the month of November. This is your winning prayer hour are you ready to pray are you ready to receive blessings from the lord god sent me differently to each and every one of us this very day this month is going to be a month of blessings it's the month that i call the month of god's canopy of glory everything you need is in the glory of the almighty god and his glory will be a canopy over all of you over your families over everyone connected to you in the name of jesus Join me, let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this month. We thank you, Lord God, Heavenly King, for what you are set to do. We thank you for where you brought each and every one of us from. We thank you for where we are. We thank you for where you are taking us. We thank you, Lord God, Heavenly King, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, Daddy Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for your plans for each and every one under the sound of my voice, each and every one watching who you have come to pray. Father, thank you, Lord God, for your plans over there lives. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Holy Spirit, help us to pray. Help us, Lord God, Heavenly King. Thank you, Lord God, for dispatching your angels. Dispatch your angels into the lives and into the situations of your people. We will forever give you all the praise. We will forever give you all the glory. We will forever give you all the honor for you are the only God and we are so honored to know you. We are so honored to be your children. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome everyone to this beautiful month. Welcome. I welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Today's service is different. God sent me to declare and to come in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of the Almighty God. Apostle Paul in Romans 15, 29, he said that when I come to you, I will come in the abundant blessing of Christ. This day, today, I've come in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel. I've come in the abundant blessing of Christ. The Lord will richly bless each and every one. Please share this link right now. Share this link because God is set to do something great. It's going to be for a very short time because it's slightly different. But God is surely going to bless you. He has sent me to make pronouncements. We may be maybe praying for two or three prayer points, but he has sent me with the mantle of the prophetess, the mouthpiece of God, the seer of God. He has sent me to make pronouncements over your lives. There shall be turnarounds. There shall be testimonies by the authority in the name of Jesus. Even grace will be released upon you. Grace to pray. Grace to do the things of God. Grace to do the things of your life. Grace to beautify your lives. Grace to strengthen you. It's being released upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. I bless the Lord for my general overseer, Dr. Festus. God bless you. Multiple, multiple, multiple anointing. Overflow anointing. In the name of Jesus. Listen, the God of 11th hour, he has sent me to release blessings upon you. Matthew 20. Let me summarize the story because we are going to be praying from it. A landowner, uh, uh, the owner of an estate, he went out to hire laborers, about four set of laborers. Very early in the morning, at dawn of the morning, he hired some, uh, some workmen and he told them, listen, I'm going to give you, go and work all day. They started from the dawn, maybe like 6 a.m. Go and walk all day. I'll give you a denarius. And he hired them. He went out again at the third hour of the day. The third hour of the day is 9 a.m. He hired some other workers. He saw them idle. He hired them. He said, okay, go. I'll pay you whatever is right. He went out again at the sixth hour. That's like 12 noon. He hired some other workers. And he said, hey, go. Go and do the same work on the same vineyard. I will pay you whatever I think is right. And then at the night hour, which was 3 p.m., he hired some other workers. And he sent them to the vineyard. He said, I will give you whatever is right. You remember, it was only the first group of workers, 6 a.m., that he promised a denarius to work all day. And guess what? Guess what? By verse 6, verse 6 says, and about the 11th hour, can you say 11th hour? About the 11th hour, 
say 11th hour, he went out, this same man, he went out, he found others standing around and he said to them, why have you been standing here? I do all day. There are people, you are watching me, you have been doing some things all day, you have been waiting all day, nobody hired you because all these people, they were together, they saw people hired 6 a.m., they saw some other people hired at the three hour of the day, they saw some other people at the six hour of the day, they saw some hired. Everyone was doing, they, 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 they were receiving their blessings, but these same people, the same place, the same the same spot. They were there. Nobody hired them. But this man came at the eleventh hour. Say eleventh hour. Eleventh hour, the hour of God. They were hired. He said, "Why have you been standing here? I do all day." Verse seven. They answered him, "Because no one hired us." And then he said, "You to go into the vineyard. Listen, they were hired at the eleventh hour." Although they were tired, probably tired, probably frustrated, probably feeling forgotten, probably feeling left out. I have been sent this day. I don't know what area of your life or what areas of your lives or family lives that you are feeling left out. You are feeling forgotten. You are frustrated. You are tired. You don't know what is happening. You have seen other people. They have been hired at 6 a.m. They've been hired at 3, at 6, and at 9. But now this is 11th hour. God has sent me to you that whatsoever that thing that has been waiting that has been lingering for a long time you have been fasting you have been praying that's the that needs 11 tower miracle the god of 11 tower is here this day god is going to hire you god is going to hire you the same people they were hired last but guess what those who were left out those who were hired last they, the bible says the last shall be the first they were hired last but guess what they got paid first and and they got paid the same wages. The same people that started at 6 a.m. They were paid the same thing. As this is the 11th, as this is the 11th month. The 11th month of the year, the God of 11th hour is showing up big through this link this day. He will give you 11th hour miracles. Say amen. God is giving you 11th hour miracles concerning that fruit of the womb. God is giving you 11th hour miracle. God is giving you 11th hour miracle concerning your health. You have done everything the, doctor did. the doctors have tried for you. God is coming big with 11th hour miracle to get you out of that mess. In the name of Jesus wherever you have been delayed the God of 11th hour is showing up today for you in the name of Jesus I don't know the things that have been lingering the things that you have you are tired you are just you, some of you, you are not even speaking about it anymore God has sent me this day this day is for you this day is for that child this day is for that situation is the 11th hour the God of 11th hour miracle is here this day to turn things around to compensate you for your year of waiting to compensate you for the delay the delayed years god is going to compensate you he's going to turn things around you are not going to miss it because you will get the, the, the things others have enjoyed you will get the same and even more in the name of jesus in genesis 22 10 abraham he enjoyed the eleventh hour miracle. The Bible says in verse ten, Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But at that point, that eleventh hour, because not just you know being tired, maybe things have been waiting, you know, but but uh, it can also be at the point where the bottom is about to fall out, at the point where something bad is about to happen. God of eleventh hour miracle, it will come true for you. It will not let the dro bottom drop out of you. And at that point, Abraham was about to, to kill his son. And the Lord showed up. The God of 11th hour, the last minute God, he showed up big in his life. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the God of 11th hour miracles. He will show up big for you right now as I'm declaring in the name of Jesus. He will show up big in your life this month. He will show up big in your family this month. That business, that career, the God of 11th hour, he showed up for you right now. In the name of Jesus, where you have been feeling left out. 
where you have been feeling forgotten, where you have been feeling forgotten, where you have been feeling frustrated, the God of 11 Tower Miracles is surprising you this day, he will surprise you this month, he will surprise you this year, the God of 11 Tower, he showed up for Abraham, he will show up for you big, he will show up for you, he will show out for you, in the name of Jesus, I hope you are saying amen, you are typing amen, Isaac was a miracle baby, your miracle will not become a mess, say amen, your miracle will not be slaughtered. Isaac means laughter. I pray for you, the God of 11 Tower Miracles. He will perform 11 Tower Miracles in your life. Your laughter will not become sorrow. Your laughter will not be slaughtered. Say amen. Whatever is your Isaac will be preserved. Whatever is your Isaac will be protected. Whatever is your Isaac will be provided for in the name of Jesus. My second level, second. I speak to your children, your grandchildren, anyone that has been suffering one ailment or the other and you are tired you have used everything may the god of 11th hour may he show up big in your family he will show up big right now in the name of jesus what has been impossible the 11th hour god the 11th hour god of miracle we turn it around impossibilities they are becoming possible right now in the name of jesus my second kanda second sakanda say oh god of 11th hour miracles in your mercies, perform your 11 tower miracles for me and I want you to customize it all those who need 11 tower miracles pray for them right now at the 11 tower we are praying say you showed up for Abraham show up for me oh lord lord god heavenly king show up for me concerning my paper, concerning my marriage, concerning my marital status patronize that prayer oh lord oh lord god of 11 tower miracles Perform your 11 tower miracles on my life, on the lives, the lives of my children. Pray that prayer, patronize it for your lives, for your family. Perform your 11 tower miracles. My eyes, by the authority in the name of Jesus, will not be slaughtered. My laughter will not turn to crying. By the authority in the name of Jesus, oh Lord Jehovah, oh Lord Jehovah. After the order of Genesis 22 14, Father Lord God, Heavenly King, Abraham said, on on the mount of the Lord, on the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. The Lord will provide. The Lord will provide, and it is said this day on the mountain of the Lord, it will be seen, it shall be provided. I want you to pray, pray, and join me in the name of Jesus at this mount of the Lord. On this mount of the Lord, this is the mount of the Lord. This is the day of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the night the Lord has made. This is the month the Lord has made. This is the year the Lord has made. On this mount of the Lord, on this mount of the Lord, on this link of the Lord. This is not an ordinary link. This is the power link. It is the presence of God's link. The power of God is on this link. On this link of the Lord, the God of 11 tower miracles will provide. He will provide 11 tower miracles in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Say the Lord will show up for me. The Lord will show up for me. Pray for your children. Pray for your grandchildren. Pray that the Lord will show up for you in your career. You've been going back and forth. You need the God of 11 hour miracle. The God of 11 hour miracle to show up for you in the name of Jesus. On this mount of the Lord, on this link of the Lord, he shall be seen. He shall be seen. He shall be provided for. Whatever is your eat shall be provided for. Whatever is your age shall be seen. For Abraham, he needed a ram. He needed a ram in exchange for his soul. On that mount of the Lord, it was provided for. The ram was provided for. Whatever is your it shall be provided for. Whatever is that thing that you need, it shall be provided for. On this mount of the Lord, on this mount of the Lord, on this link of the Lord, it shall be provided for. It shall be provided for. My father, my father, my father, the God of 11 tower miracles, Lord God, it shall be provided for for my children. Lord God, whatsoever is the it in their life, you will provide it. Lord God, for ASCC commission, ASCC winners, are, it shall be provided. On this mount of the Lord, on this mount of the Lord, on this link of the Lord, it shall be seen, it shall be provided. It shall be, I want you to pray, it shall be seen, it shall be provided. That is that thing that you are believing God for, it will leave the realm. 
the realm of the unseen. He shall come to the realm of the seen, the seen realm, and he shall be seen. You will hold it. He shall be provided for by the God of eleven tower miracles. Say, oh God of eleven tower miracles, perform your eleven tower miracles in my business. Patronize it, customize it for yourself. My it shall be seen by the authority in the name of Jesus. My it shall be seen. It shall be seen in my head. It shall be seen by the authority in the name of Jesus in my home it shall be seen in ALCC it shall be seen in my marriage my quiver to be filled with children pray for yourself customize the prayer for yourself the God of 11 tower miracle is in your household the God of 11 tower miracle is saying here is mighty in our midst is here to show himself be concerning your life concerning the situation in the name of Jesus say my father my father my father where I have been delayed the God of 11 tower miracle ah my second shanda. I receive you I thank you for showing up thank you for showing up big for me the 11 tower miracle God I receive you I thank you because you will do me well in Jesus name we pray amen workers were hired last talking about the passage where we read the vineyard owner saw them at five o'clock but they have been there all day. They have been there all day. They saw that people got blessed. They saw that people bought houses. They saw that people got their papers. They saw that people, you know, they, they received those things that they wanted, those things that they needed, but they, they couldn't get. They seem to have been delayed. They seem to have been overlooked. They were looked upon as late comers. They were looked upon as people who didn't know what, you know, who, who were lazy or they were tagged with some names. They were probably tagged as late achievers they were late to be blessed they were late to have babies late to get papers late 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 in things the god of 11 tower i don't know if you are falling into that category one way or the other the lord has sent me to you today very short very short prayer service but the lord is here the 11 tower miracle god is here the god of 11 tower miracle said the last will be the first the last will be the first the last will be the first in 11 tower miracles there are so many things that can happen i don't have the time today but the last year will be the first when it is 11 tower miracle those who have been the, the, the people the people people have looked down upon how my second day the 11 tower miracle god will come up he will show up big in their lives he will move them from the back to the front the last will be the first where you have been last in good things you will be the first this worker said nobody hired us nobody Nobody married me, nobody helped me, nobody did anything good for me. The vineyard owner hired them. He paid them as if they worked all day. That same God, the 11 tower miracle God, he has sent me to you. He's showing up right now in your situation as the God of 11 tower miracle. The power of delay is broken right now in your life. The power of delay is broken concerning that issue that you have been believing God for every spirit of delay I bind you in the name of Jesus concerning your papers Concerning that thing you are believing God for, I bind the spirit of delay in the name of Jesus. I take authority, I take dominion over spirit of delays, over everything holding you down, over everything covering your glory. I take authority, I take dominion over in the name of Jesus. My second shanda. the power of delay is broken in your life. The power of delay is broken in your marriage. It is time for your marriage to move forward. You can't be fighting over the same issue. You have just have, have an argument confusion over the same issue you have been going around around the same mountain i come against that spirit that spirit of delay preventing you holding you down chaining you down from moving you forward i break it in the name of jesus i am hearing in my spirit that spirit of delay holding your business to the same spot that chain is broken in the name of jesus that person that you've been wanting to start your business but there has been a block this day the god of 11 tower miracle is removing the block blockage right now is pulling down the walls and the mountains have been moved the valleys have been they have been exalted in the name of jesus you have been waiting my second emotion now waiting to be married waiting to have your children waiting for summer for your loved ones the god of 11 tower miracles
we show up big for you this day in the name of Jesus. Hey, you need to tell your friends and families who have been delayed to come and receive the power of God, to come and receive the anointing of God through this service because the God of 11th hour, he will come through for them, he will show up big in their situations, he will turn things around for them, he will give them testimonies, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the almighty God in the name of Jesus, the God of 11th hour miracles. He hired the workers, the God of 11th with our miracles he is here he's hiring you he will you will be married say amen you will be married you will love your children the god of 11 tower miracles he will compensate you you will get your papers by the authority in the name of jesus the god of 11 tower miracles He's touching you right now for total healing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Let the blood of Jesus, let it flush out every disease, let it flush out that depression, let it flush out everything that is not of God. He said that an enemy has done this. Whatsoever the enemy has planted in your body, the God of 11 Tower Miracle, the blood of Jesus is flowing through your body right now in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever the enemy has planted in your mind, that you you, you, you don't have a sound mind. You are dull. You, you don't remember the good things. You should remember the information. The God of 11 Tower Miracle is working upon you right now in the name of Jesus. You will be who God created you to be. God compensated those people. He compensated them for the wedding period. I profess over your life the God of 11 Tower Miracles. He will compensate you. This very month, this very month, the Lord will compensate you for the year you have waited for the tears you have shared the God of 11 tower miracles he will compensate you for the ridicule and the sorrow that you suffered for the time you have wasted for the money you wasted for the effort you put in in the name of Jesus the God of 11 tower miracles he will come true for you in the name of Jesus Say the God of 11 Tower Miracles. I thank you for touching my situation. Present it to him. Patronize it right now. In the name of Jesus. Hey. In 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 14. The Zarephath widow. The woman of Zarephath. He received the 11 Tower Miracle. This woman was going to bake the last meal. And he said, hey, I'm about to bake the last meal for my son and for myself so I, we can eat and die. Can you see the, 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 the seriousness of the situation she was in? But the God of 11 Tower Miracle, this merciful God that we call our Father, our Father, our God, our sustainer, our maintainer, the faithful God, the merciful God, the powerful God, the compassionate God. He showed up big for that woman. God is so merciful. I'm hearing in my spirit. Hey, Makandaria Masikende. Remember God sent Elijah all the way from another town to go to that woman to help her. God is going to every length for you, for you to have that testimony. You have, you are tired. You are frustrated. God has sent me this day through the, through this topic of God, the, 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 the 11th hour miracle God, God is moving things behind the scenes for you. He's moving whoever needs to be moved for you to, to whoever needs to be moved for you to achieve, for you to obtain what has been the desire of your heart. God sent a man of God, the major prophet, a old prophet from another place just for a widow woman that was going to bake a little food and die with her son. The God of 11th hour, he showed up in her life. That same God is here ah, on this link he shall be provided on this very link this link of power this link of anointing it shall be provided for you god has sent me as his prophet on this very link he shall be provided the prophet said to the woman first kings chapter 17 verse 14 hey for this is what the lord god of israel says the bowl of flour shall not be exhausted nor shall the jar of oil be empty until the day that the lord sends rain on the face of the earth did you hear that god sent prophet elijah to that servant woman and her story changed to glory death changed to life because she was going to eat and die but god said no 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 death is not your portion life is your portion he has sent me to you this day that 
that same God, he said, I should tell you, death is not your portion, life is your portion, lack is not your portion, overflow is your portion, hatred is not your portion, love and favor is your portion, hardship is not your portion, ease for success is your portion, doors open for you, doors of opportunities open for you right now, by the authority in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, 2 Chronicles 20, 20, believe the Lord your God, you will be secured, believe the prophet, you shall prosper prosper. God has sent me as a prophetess into your lives, into your situations this day, into your homes, into your lives this day, on this 11th month. Receive your 11th hour miracles. Receive whatsoever miracle you want. That 11th hour miracle, receive it. The God of 11th hour miracles is in your house. Your jug of oil will not run dry. Your jug of oil will not run out by the authority in the name of Jesus. Hey! Your jar of flour will never be empty. Your jar of flour will never run low by the authority in the name of Jesus. Whatever that jug of oil represents for you, it will not run dry. It will not run low. Whatever that jug of oil is in your own life, it will not run out. It will not be empty. It will not be stale by the authority in the name of Jesus. No, not I rebuke nothingness in your life. Uh, Peter said, I caught nothing. I rebuke that in your life. The God of 11th hour miracle has turned that nothingness around into overflow in the name of Jesus. But the the God whom I serve, the God of 11th hour miracles, he is performing 11th hour miracles in your life. He is performing 11th hour miracles in your families. He is performing 11th hour miracles in your businesses, in your careers, in the name of Jesus. Whatever is your jar of flour will never be empty. He shall never be exhausted. Say amen. He shall never run out. You will not run out of life by the authority in the name of Jesus, by the power of the God of 11th hour miracle. You will not run out of money. You will not run out of ideas. You will not run out of wisdom. You will not run out of dignity by the authority in the name of Jesus. You will not run out of helpers. Hey, gates will open for you. Good gates will open for you. Opportunities are bound for you by the authority in the name of Jesus. Where good doors have been shut against you, the God of 11th hour miracle. He has miracles. He has opened those doors for you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father, the God of 11 Tower Miracles, arise in your power. I am your candidate for 11 Tower Miracles. Hey, do you believe that? Are you a candidate? Are you the candidate for 11 Tower Miracles? Say, my father, my father, my father, I am your candidate for the 11 Tower Miracles. Pray for your loved ones. Pray for situations and circumstances. After the order of Zarephath woman, my story will change to glory by the authority in the name of Jesus. Lack will turn to abundance. Sickness will turn to wholeness by the authority in the name of Jesus. After the order of the prophecy of Elijah, 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 14, the jug of my oil will not run out in Jesus' name. The jar of my flower will never be empty. My head will not be empty. Hey, because Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Use your own word, customize it, patternize it. My head will not be empty. My pocket will not be empty. My bank account will not be empty. Hey, I will not run out of anointing. My God will compensate and restore me for the years of waiting. By the authority in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, the God of 11 tower miracles, wherever I have been delayed, wherever my vision has been delayed, wherever my career has been delayed, wherever my family has been delayed. My father, my father, my father. Wherever my business has been delayed. Show up for me, O oh Lord. Perform your 11 tower miracles. Lift me up, my father. The last must be the first. And on this month of the Lord, on this month of the Lord, on this month of the Lord, on this link of the Lord, he shall be provided for. He shall be seen. He shall be provided for. I receive my Lord God, heavenly King, my heart desires. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those who have been delayed, where you have been delayed, the God of 11 Tower Miracles, he will give you 11 Tower Miracles. Second Samuel 18, 23, Aimas outran the Kushite. I can't go fully into the story. The Aimas, he outran the Kushite. 
may the God of 11th hour miracle may he, may he help you because Kushite was sent forth. Kushite he started running for so to, to give David a message. But Ahimaaz was so restless. He said, I must give a report today. But Joab said, you don't need to go. But he insisted on going. Kushat already left. He already started way before Ahimaaz. But when Ahimaaz started running, he used the plane. He used another route. Uh, and he outran Kushite. He got to David before Cushite. Although it was not a good news, but in your house, in my house, in our families concerning us, it shall be good news. Throughout this month of November and beyond this year, it shall be good news, good news, good reports. Every day, every hour, every second, good news, good reports. In John chapter 20, if you read it, verses 1 to 7, John and Peter, when the women went to them, that we, they, they have taken our Lord, that Jesus was no longer in the tomb, John and Peter started running at the same time. But guess what? The Bible says, but John outran Peter and got to the tomb faster than Peter. But guess what? Peter went in first. Peter got to the tomb last after John. But guess what? He went in first because he had more courage. He had more grace. Paul came last out of the apostles. 1 Corinthians 12, 8. People may, it may look as if you are coming last. It may look as if you have been delayed. It may look as if you have been forgotten. It may look as if the things of your own lives, that the things of your life, that they are hard. The God of last minute miracles, 11th hour miracles. He has sent me to, to, to pronounce over your life. So I pray for you in the name of Jesus. After these orders, all those who have been delayed, as Ahima started running last, but he outran Kushite, wherever or wherever you have been delayed, the God of 11th hour, he will give you 11th hour miracles, say amen, he will give you 11th hour's miracles, I am hearing, he will give you 11th hour miracles concerning that mortgage, concerning that deal, you will do the closing, God will show up big for you, the delay will work together for your good, after the order of our emails, you will outrun them, I don't know who, they have gone ahead of you, they, have, they, are, they, are, they are living the kind of life you are still praying about god will help you you will outrun them after the order of john and peter john ran faster and got there first but peter entered the tomb first i pray the god of 11 tower he will perform 11 tower miracles in your life in your family in your business he will perform 11 tower miracles in the sec commission in the sec winners house he will perform 11 tower miracles in your career in your health by the authority in the name of jesus for that interview that you thought it was so that oh it's gone it is over god of 11 tower miracle he has gone ahead of you they will call you back they will call you back they may have outran you like john outran and ran ahead of peter but by the power of the lord of the 11 tower miracle he will give you 11 tower miracles he will give you boldness god will give you courage i don't know what you need for your job i don't know what you need for your career for you to be successful for your marriage to be successful for your children to be successful whatsoever you need receive right now by the law from the god of the lemon tower miracles receive boldness receive anointing receive insight receive wisdom receive courage receive resources whatever resource you need receive right now in the name of jesus whatsoever you need to make for your success receive right now whatsoever you need to make for the peaceful marriage receive right Right now, whatsoever you need for your marriage to turn around, receive right now. I speak to every storm, every stormy marriage, every stormy family, every stormy hell. I speak peace of the Almighty God. I command storm to cease. I command storm to cease. Our God, He causes war to cease from the ends of the world. He causes wars and storms to cease. Jesus said, Peace be still. I command and I'm standing in the authority of the name of Jesus, or the other authority in the blood of Jesus. I 
command that storm, that storm raging in your family. I command you to cease right now. Let there be divine intervention. Right now, intervention. Right now, intervention. 11 hour intervention to bring peace into your lives. In the name of Jesus, the God of 11 hour miracle, he will make your feet swift as the DS. God of 11 hour miracles, he will make your feet like the hands feet. He will secure your feet. In this race of life, a Professor Makendeli Makondo. Yes, in this race of life, your feet will not wobble. In this race of life, your feet will not falter. In this race of life, you're, you will not fall. God will set you eye on, on, He will set you on high places. He will set your family on high places. He will set your business in high places. He will set your career on high places. The God of 11 Tower Miracle, He will give you 11 Tower Miracles. Like Paul, some people, they may feel you are not qualify but by the power of the god of 11th hour you will outrun them you will outshine them you will outdo them by the grace of the almighty god say oh god of the 11th hour miracle perform your 11th hour miracles in my life in the lives of my loved ones as i am as outrun lord god kushai where i have been delayed i received 11 hour miracles to make up and compensate me for the lost times, for the lost opportunities. John outran Peter, but Peter went into the tomb first by the power of God of 11 tower miracles. I received 11 tower miracles to move me from grace to grace, to move me from wisdom to wisdom, from courage to courage, boldness to boldness. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh God of 11 tower miracles, perform your 11 tower miracles in my life. I am and Kushai carry bad news. I will not carry bad news. I will not receive bad news. I reject it. I reject bad news. My second devotion in the name of Jesus, God of 11 tower miracles. He will perform 11 tower miracles in my family. My second devotion. He will light, he will light our lamps. God will light your lamps. Pray for yourself. God will light the lamps of my children. He will light the lamps of my grandchildren. And he will cause us to shine. We shall shine from glory. Glory to glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, mighty God. It's a beautiful new month. It's a wonderful month. Watching and waiting every step of the way. God got many blessings waiting for you in the month. It's a beautiful new month. It's a wonderful month. This month is going to be a wonderful month in your homes, in my home, in my family. It's a glorious month. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I have coined by the power of the Holy Spirit that this month of November is your month of God's canopy of glory. The glory of the Almighty God will be a canopy all around you, all around your family, all around the ALCC members all over the world. You will see that in Isaiah 4, 5. So I pray for you because the Bible says my God shall supply all our needs. Philippians 4 19. God will surprise you this month by the authority in the name of Jesus because inside the glory of God is everything you need. He said my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches not according to the many incomes or the two three incomes or your jobs. He shall supply your needs according to his riches in glory. The riches of God is in Inside that glory and that glory is a canopy all over you by the authority in the name of Jesus because God's canopy of glory is over you you will not lack anything go say amen you will go in and now I hope your amen is rolling like thunder is fire branded is rolling like like water the overflowing through the cup overflowing from a cup you will go in and out you will find pastures for your soul you will go in and out in your family this month every day you will go in and out you will find power by the authority in the name of Jesus, you will not operate in your own power. You will operate in the power of the Holy Spirit. You will operate in the anointing of God. Whatsoever you need to do, you shall do with His, because not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Almighty God. You will operate in anointing. You will flow in anointing. You will go in and out. You shall find pleasure for your souls. You shall find peace for your souls. You shall find prosperity for your souls. You will go in and out. 
and all is well with you. After the order of Psalm 74, verse 4, it said they will be singing praises all day long. I pray for you in the name of Jesus because you came to pray today. You are blessed. You are greatly favored. You are empowered to succeed. You are empowered to succeed. You will not fail. Opportunities to succeed will open for you greatly this month. You will sing songs of joy all month long. You will sing songs of peace all month long. You will tell stories of joy all month long. You will rejoice all month long. As Daniel was ten times better than his peers, I pray for you, Aribasikene. Your children, your grandchildren, your business, your own destiny will be ten times better in the name of Jesus. Everyone, Masikene Rebosakanda Abashanda. In Deuteronomy 11, 1, he said that God will make you a thousand times greater than your fathers. I pray for you, your business will be a it one thousand times greater. Hey, yes, this will be one thousand times greater. I don't know whatsoever you lay your hands upon shall be one thousand times greater in the name of Jesus. In Second Samuel chapter eighteen verse three, they told David, they said, "Listen, you are ten thousand times more than us. You are ten thousand times in what?" So I pray for you because you came to pray. God will make you ten thousand times more than what you are worth right now. He will make you ten thousand times more in value. He will make you ten thousand times more in wisdom. It will make you 10,000 times more in influence and in influence. In the name of Jesus, you can pray that for your children. Pray that for your for your loved ones. Hey, Masikene Shanda. Because you came to pray, the righteous shall return. In the name of Jesus, God said, as you quote Isaiah 3, 10 over you, he said, say to the righteous, it will go well with them, for they will eat the fruit of their labors throughout this month and beyond. It will go well with you. It will go well with you in your business. It will go well with you in your marriage, it will go well with you in your health, it will go well with you in your family, on your job it shall go well with you, every day this month things will go well with you will go well with your family and you will eat the fruit of your labor by the authority in the name of Jesus Isaiah 33, 24, he said no inhabitants of Zion, we say I am sick, Masikendere Boshada hmm Throughout this month, none in your family will say I am sick. None in our families will say I am sick. None in our families will say I am sad. None in our families will say I am lost. None in our families will complain or will be depressed or discouraged. He shall be well with you. He shall be well with us. You are the righteous of the Lord. I pray for you through this month and beyond. When you go out, you shall come back. When we go out, we shall come back. You will enter and exit. It. Now we go on a journey of no return. I pray for you, you will not go on a journey of no return. I will not go on a journey of no return. We go in, we come out. We enter to exit. We exit to enter. Now we go on a journey of no return. After the order of Jeremiah 30, 19, songs of thanksgiving, we shall sing throughout this month. Songs of thanksgiving will come from your homes. It will come from my homes. Voices of people dancing and celebrating will be in our homes by the authority in the name of Jesus. We will not sing songs of sorrow. There will be no gathering of sorrow. We shall sing songs of joy. God will multiply you. You will not be small. God will honor you. You will not be insignificant. I pray that for ALCC. God will multiply ALCC commission. We shall not be small. Not addition. It's multiplication. God will multiply us in ALCC. ALCC commission. ALCC winner's house. God will multiply us numerically we shall not be small if we multiply us in good areas in anointing in influence and in affluence in the name of Jesus God our God if we all know ASCC ASCC will never be insignificant in the name of Jesus hey because you came to pray throughout this month all of us will enjoy peace in all areas Micah chapter 4 verses 4 and 5, you will sit securely, you will walk securely, no one will make you afraid, you will ask achieve success in the name of the Lord. You will secure that job in the name of the Lord. You will complete every project every day in the, successfully in the name of the Lord. You will give testimonies in the name of the Lord. Things will turn for your good in the name of the Lord. You will sit securely and in peace in the name of the Lord. As God surrounded Solomon with peace, First Kings chapter 5 verse 4. As God surrounded Solomon with peace all around, he said there is no adversary, there is no misfortune. Fortune.
peace all around. I prophesy over your life throughout this month, throughout this month in your families, in my families, by the authority in the name of Jesus, you will enjoy sweet rest, you will enjoy sweet peace, you will enjoy sweet sleep, you will enjoy, there shall be no adversary, no evil report, there shall be no war. Ah, Makendere Bosanda, Father, we pray over this nation, there shall be no war, no war in America, no war in the name of Jesus, no, no wars. No war in our homes, no war in our families, no enmity, no misfortune, no troubled waters. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 23, he says he leads me beside the still waters. God will guide you away from troubled waters. Say amen. He will guide you away from troubled people. He will guide you away from troubled events. He will guide you away from wicked and unreasonable people. In the name of Jesus, your portion is peace. Say amen. Your portion is tranquility. Quality, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. You will move from glory to glory. You will move from honor to honor. You will move from favor to favor. The God of 11 Tower Miracle, He will lift you beyond your plans. He will lift you beyond your imaginations. He will lift you beyond your efforts. He will lift you beyond your labors. You shall be greatly rewarded. He rewarded those workers that were hired last minute. God will reward you. He will reward you with good health. He will reward you with longevity. He will reward you with testimonies. He will reward you with your heart desires. You will have overflow of that thing that has been denied you for years. You will have excess of it in the name of Jesus. And you shall eat the fruit of your labor. So shall it be. So must it be. The, 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 the stamp of the almighty God. The I am that I am is upon it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Father we give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your testimonies, the testimonies that you will give each and every one of us. I thank you that as you have declared over your people, you have also declared upon me and upon my families, Lord God, my extended families, my Lord God, heavenly king, loved ones, that we shall all have miracles in the name of the Lord. Amen. Listen, don't miss the two services tomorrow if uh, 8 o'clock. 32 East 98 Street, don't miss it. And then at 10 15, I will be at the two services and I'm looking forward to seeing you. Ladies out there, I'm inviting you. We are having our retreat November 19 to 21. I have never been excited about our retreat like this. God is going to move mightily. God is going to give supernatural experiences. You don't want to miss it. I want you to come along with us. And if you have already registered, start praying that the things God is showing me, the things he has promised me and is promising me, you will partake of it. Everyone will be soaking wet with the power of the Almighty God. So shall it be. The Lord bless you. Don't forget, it is not over until you win. Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good for you because you are called, you love the Lord. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. Shalom. Mm -hmm.